Hello everyone, we will create a form using Python Tkinta and custom Tkinta libraries. In the video, you will learn exactly how to use label, entry, radio button, and normal button objects. Before moving on to the video, you can support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. In the first stage, custom Tkinta and Tkinta libraries were imported into the project. Appearance and color theme has been adjusted. A desktop window has been created. The dimensions of the window have been adjusted. The title of the window has been adjusted. The main loop function was used to prevent the window from closing suddenly. Let's take a look at how the code works. We have completed the first step. In the second stage, I will create label objects. I send the window name, text, and color variables to the label function. I place the object in the window with place. You can specify the region to be placed with X and Y values. Let's take a look at how the code works. We have completed the second step. In the third step, I will create two entry objects. I send the window name and text variables to the entry function. I place the object on the desktop window using the place function. The place function has a similar structure for all objects. Let's take a look at how the code works. We have completed the third step. In the fourth step, I will create radio button objects. I determine a task function. It's not actually necessary for this project. I'm just going to use pass. I am creating a variable with string data type. I will use the variable in the radio button function. I send the window name, text, command, variable and value values to the radio button function. With the place function, I can place the object anywhere in the window. Let's take a look at how the code works. We have completed the fourth step. In the fifth step, I will add a result label object. When I click on the button, I want a text to appear on the screen according to the entered values. I will create a result label for this. I will send the window name, text and color variables to the function. Let's take a look at how the code works. We have completed the fifth step. In the last step I will add a button. I send the window name, text and command variables to the button function. I will update the text of the result label object in the button event function. I can get the values entered for all objects by using the get function. Let's take a look at how the code works. Let's enter the information. When you click on the button, a result text is displayed on the screen according to the entered values. If you have any questions, you can mention them in the comments. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.